It's that time again. The creeks and rivers in Michigan are teeming with fish. And here in the era of advanced technology, it's never been easier to catch them. But on this day, I'll be transporting you back in time to 17th century Japan. I'll be setting forth in search of fish wielding nothing but a stick. A stick made of premium, sexy carbon fiber, just like the ancient Japanese. This is Tinkara. All right, guys, today I am stepping way outside of my comfort zone. It has been raining all morning. I am doing an exploratory experimental mission today on a river that I have only fished once in my entire life. And I'm going to be doing it for the Tinkara rod. And for the record, this is my second time ever Tinkara fishing. And we're gonna see if we can't catch anything today. I'm primarily targeting smallmouth bass, but I will really take whatever bites. The rod that I'm using today is the Maruki Sharpshooter by Wasatch Tinkara. I'm gonna start out here tight lining some streamers but I have several different patterns that we can try throughout the day. I must say this streamer that I'm using is definitely too heavy for this rod, but I really like the way it looks in the water. As long as we can get it in front of a fish without scaring it away, I think we should be able to catch something today. All right guys, I'm coming up here on some rocks that's slowing down the current and we have a pocket of deeper water here. So I really like the way this looks and I thought I just saw some fish activity. So I'm gonna try to sneak up here and see if we can uh, put our streamer in front of these fish. Got one. Got a fish on. Pretty much gave up fighting immediately, but it's a nice little rock bass. How cool is that? It's actually a pretty big rock bass. These things are so aggressive, they might even be more aggressive than smallies, but they just don't get very big. I still love them though. Let's let this guy go back right where we got him from. All right, after feeling how that rock bass felt on the sharpshooter here, I think it could handle some bigger fish. First, let's try and see if there's any more fish right here in the slow water. Got another one. It's another rock bass. <laughs> in the net. Nice. Now this one's a little bit smaller, but look how pretty those beautiful red eyes are. I really like rock bass. I don't catch them that often either, so that's cool. Let's let them go. The streamer that I'm using here, guys, is a white rabbit zonker leech pattern that I tied up with a little bit of flash, and it's got an orange four millimeter tungsten bead. See if there's any more hiding in here in the slow water. Got another one. <laughs> this one seems a little bit bigger. Guys, the bites on the Tinkara rod feel so incredible. Man, this guy's really staying down. It is another rock bass. It's another nice one too. Ooh, look at that guy. <laughs> it's not a personal best, but that is a chunky rock bass. Look at the shoulders on that guy. What a fish. All right, guys, rock bass number three, definitely the biggest, chunkiest one of the bunch. Who knows, we might catch a personal best rock bass today. All right, guys, now we're not gonna stay and beat up on rock bass for the entire day, but while they're biting, I'm gonna cast back in there and see if I can get another one.
Got another one. <laughs> Smaller fish this time. Oh, it came off. I do think that was another rock bass. This little pool is just loaded with rock bass. All right, guys, I think these little Rockies have had enough. Let's go ahead and try to move on, find another nice little pool. I'm gonna tight line my streamer into this current here near these lay downs and see if I can get something to come out and grab it. All right, nobody home, let's keep moving. Oh, just had another take, I think. It was a rock bass, but it looked like a big one. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to make a cast that good again. I'm not very good at casting, guys, especially with level line and a fly that's too heavy for the rod. Oh, I got something, something, oh! Guys, if that was a rock bass, it was an absolute giant, but it has to, I think it has to be a smallmouth. That was a huge fish. <laughs> that was a bigger fish right there. Oh, that's a perfect cast. It was an ugly cast, but it's right where I want it. I really hope he comes back. Got him, got him. That's a better fish. Stay on. Oh, no way, no way. It's a pike, you guys. Oh no, don't break me off. Don't break me off. Oh no. In the net! <laughs> no way, I just caught a pike, you guys. <laughs> On the sharpshooter. What an awesome fish. What is wrong with his eye? He has one of the craziest but coolest looking eyes I've ever seen on a fish. All right, let's see if my forceps can get down in here to get this guy unhooked. Wow, he was barely hooked, you guys. All right, guys, this thing is absolutely emaciated and blind in one eye, so I'm gonna get him back in the water real quick. And then I wanna take a picture of his eye because I've never seen anything like it before. If he does jump out of our net, that's okay. But I just wanna have this guy facing upstream, getting that oxygen through those gills because he's not in the best health, that's for sure. All right, guys, here's what I wanted to show you. Look at the color of this guy's eye. How could his eye be that yellow? It's so weird looking. There's no way he can see out of it. Just a very, very unique fish but he isn't doing well, so we're gonna get him back in the water and swimming right now. How awesome is that, guys? First pike on the Tinkara. Now, to be fair, that wasn't the strongest, healthiest pike, but at no point during that fight did I feel outmatched on that Maruki sharpshooter. What a rod. And that bite felt incredible. I still think the first bite we got in there was a big rock bass, but Man, I don't know, it could have been that pike, I suppose. It just didn't look like that the first time. All right, guys, I almost didn't come and do this today because of the weather and because it was all new and I was worried I'd come out here and get skunked, but uh, I'm glad I didn't shy away from the challenge. That was a payoff right there. And we're gonna keep going, see if we can catch some more species, maybe some bigger fish, who knows? Let's journey onward. Oh guys, I got excited. There's a big fish right there. I'm not sure if it's gonna show up on the camera, but I can see from here, it's definitely a sucker. I don't think we're gonna be catching any suckers on the streamer, but I guess if we got it down on the bottom, there's a chance. All right, the creek has gotten really shallow and fast and I'm just marching along toward the river. That's where I really wanna fish. And I'll stop if I see some slower holes with some structure, but for the most part, we're just gonna be passing up everything so we can get on with the river fishing. Oh, got one. <laughs> I think it's another rock bass. Ugh. And I'm wrong. It's actually a smallie. Nice. First smallie on the sharpshooter. That's awesome. 
There we go, guys. First little smolly on the sharpshooter. Whoop. That's more of what I was uh, expecting to catch today. We're gonna keep moving on up, but we're at three species on the day. The rain is starting to come down a little bit heavier now. We're getting into some deeper waters. I'll do my best to keep it off the lens for you guys. But things could start getting hairy through here. Got one. Oh, what is that? I think it's a decent smallie here. Oh, nice. This is the fighter I was looking for. Whoa. Guys, this feels crazy on the Tinkara rod compared to a conventional rod. There's just not a comparison. You feel every bit of the fish's power. This isn't even a big one. Oh, wow. Guys, that was incredible. Oh my goodness. I mean, you gotta try this, guys. <laughs> that was unbelievably cool. Look at that. First decent smallie on the Tinkara. Put up a heck of a fight. And you feel every bit of that on these Tinkara rods, man. That was crazy. I thought it was gonna be a bigger fish. All right, we are at the river now, and the first spot I wanna hit is right up under this bridge. One thing I noticed straight away is that the water in the river is much more stained. All right, guys, I have made it back to the creek. I'm gonna start working my way back up to the car, and hopefully we can catch one or two more fish on the way. Got one. <laughs> it's a fighter. It's gotta be a smallie, right? Oh. Botched the net job there. See if I can get him this time. There we go. Another little smallmouth. Awesome. That's a fish. Oh, what is that? Got ourselves a decent fish here, boys. This might be another pike. Or a smolly. Whoa. <laughs> this is too fun on the Tinkara rod. It's definitely another smolly. Oh, that feels crazy on the sharpshooter. Oh, yes. Potentially our best smallie of the day, or it's at least tied with the first couple we caught. See if I can end this fight. He's getting into the current now, making this tough. Oh, 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 oh. Trying to wrap around me. <laughs> oh, that's too fun. <laughs> Definitely our best smallie of the day. Look at that. I almost botched that and let him get between my legs. Nice, beautiful fish. Let's let it go. <laughs> oh, that's too fun. Got one, got another one. <laughs> got ourselves a rock bass this time. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it just never gets old. Guys, if you're gonna fish a small creek, there's really no better way. Don't get me wrong, I love my ultralight, but it just doesn't compare to the Tinkara rod. And these rock bass have been a nice surprise. I really was not anticipating coming out here and putting a smack down on a bunch of rock bass today, but definitely not disappointed. Like I said, I don't really catch a lot of rock bass. Got another one. 
Ooh. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh. Another little smolly. That's what we came here for today. Just a little guy, but still an absolute blast on the sharpshooter. This thing is crazy. Guys, my casting is terrible, and I'm using a fly that I definitely shouldn't be using with this rod, but I've caught a lot of fish today. Three different species. We got a bunch of smallies, rock bass, and a pike. Pike was definitely catch of the day. All right, let's leave this little hole alone and keep moving. I gotta be getting home. <laughs> 